Wow, really aggressive lane change by the car there. Okay, we're going over the line. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Like, why are we going 35 miles an hour <laughs> on highway? Like, what the hell? Oh my gosh, what the frick are you doing? I've never seen it do that. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is episode 14. So it's the holidays. I'm not sure how much traffic there's really gonna be here but with this extra time I had off from work, I wanted to try a different route. So this is a way I've never been. I have no idea how the car is gonna drive here. I've, I actually have driven this direction once before um, to check out a supercharger up here that's under construction. It's still not open, although the stalls are there and it looks done. If you plug in, I don't think it works, uh, but that's a topic for another video. So we're gonna be heading north on US 23 going towards Flint. If you didn't know, Elon Musk actually is pretty active in Flint uh, after the water crisis there. He's done a lot of donating and spent time there to help out with that. But before we get started, I have to say thank you to my newest patrons. All right, everybody, we got a few more additions to the frunk. First, we got Thomas O, Autopilot 1.0. Next, we got Andy D, also Autopilot 1.0. And then we got Adam, who is an enhanced Autopilot patron. Thank you guys so much. If you are waiting for yours, there's a couple more. They will be in the next video. Thanks again. So if you look at the map here, you can see Flint has kind of this circle of these different highways. So I've just picked a random location here and you can see we're gonna be going pretty much right into Flint. And then after we get past this kind of interchange here, so we have two interchanges, we have to go from 75 to 69 and then we have to go up from 69 to 475. So we're really gonna be pushing Autopilot's ability to do these interchanges. If you don't know about Autopilot or Tesla's full self-driving software or how they work, if you need more information, I'll link to a video above. I explain in a lot more detail in that video uh, how Autopilot works if you wanna check that out. So we are on the latest software, the holiday preview update. Actually, why don't we just get this going really quick just to kinda fit the times. I don't really wanna hear the song though. So there, that'll get rid of the song, but at least we have some snowflakes going on, that'll be fun. Also at the end of this challenge, I will be giving Autopilot a rating. Uh, I will post the ratings from last time so you can see what people rated Autopilot last time. You will also have a chance to rate it in the top right corner of this video will be a little I. You can click that and you can give Autopilot your grade. So let's jump on the highway and see how Autopilot handles uh, a lot of miles. It's actually gonna be something like 20 miles just there and then we'll do 20 miles back. Okay, so here comes, I forgot about that. Um, so here's the highway, um, and I have to do this part, but right when we are on the on-ramp here, as soon as this is available, there, I can turn autopilot on. So I'll set our speed to 77 today. Follow distance, we'll keep at two. Uh, and again, I'm not really sure how much traffic there's gonna be, but autopilot should be able to get us on the highway. At this point, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna keep a hand on the wheel. You should be able to see my hand on the wheel in the bottom left here. And I'm gonna let the car handle everything here. So we're merging on, there are some cars, but they are being nice enough to move over for us. And no turn signal yet. Oh, crap. Okay, so I totally forgot. I was testing some other stuff and I turned my confirmation based lane changes back on. So I have to confirm and you can't change that unless you're in park. So just really quick right here. No to requiring the lane change and we just do a chime. So. Let's turn back on, and now we can get back on the highway. This is the worst. I don't want to hear that anymore. How do I make it stop? <laughs> okay, um, so here we go. We're on the ramp, we're on the on-ramp here, and autopilot is on, so now at this point I can set my speed and my following distance, and now I don't have to do anything. Before I forgot, and the car was uh, gonna ask me to do everything, which is no fun. Um, oh my gosh, even when it doesn't turn itself, <laughs> it turns on that chime. Uh, can we turn that off somehow? Turn off, okay, cool. So I, I, that's, that's a little annoying, I'm not gonna do that the whole time. Okay, so we have our first lane change coming up. Just to get into the faster lane, nobody's there. The car's very good at doing this now, at changing lanes, avoiding other cars. Um, so I think for most of the way there, we're really not going to have any problems. Okay, so I did increase the speed by one, and I would say that getting out of the passing lane, at least on hardware 2.5, is still broken. In my experience, the car before it was broken 
uh, before the 2019.40 updates would move over you know, a lot quicker, like pretty much right away when it was open. So I probably will, if people are tailgating me or whatever, I'm probably just gonna move over. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's just, it's like, it's not supposed to work that way. So I don't wanna just leave the car here when I know that it's not capable of doing that. It's just kind of rude. Set driver seat heater to low. Okay, so you can see here my voice commands are working. If you saw in my last video, they weren't working for me. I still see for some people they're not working. So I had some comments in the last video talking about that this may be a server side issue. And that's what it looks like to me. I, of course, don't know for sure. Um, but when you have problems where everyone's on the same version, it's working for some people, it isn't working for other people, um, and it's kind of works for you sometimes, it kind of doesn't, that seems to be what it is. Uh, but I did discover one bug. Set driver seat heater to medium. And it sets it to high, even though it, set, it clearly hears that I said medium, it sets it to high. But you can say, set driver seat heater to two. Okay, set driver's seat heater to two. There, so that'll put it on medium for you and it even says medium, which is pretty funny. Um, but those little things, you know, will of course get fixed. So now that we're getting passed on the right and stuff and somebody's behind me, I'm just gonna do the lane change myself. Okay, so we're moving over to follow route actually, which doesn't really make sense. And you know what, this guy is gonna be mad at me now because he's going fast and I just got in front of him. <laughs> um, so the last couple out of the left lanes I did manually myself uh, because I know the car is like incapable of doing that right now. And if the car was able to get out of the passing lane, uh, I would let it like I do in the normal Tesla challenges, but it's just not worth it to me, you know, right now when the car is broken. I mean, it's a broken, okay, I don't know what it's complaining about. Um, it's, it's kind of like a broken update. So why am I just gonna let it sit there in everybody's way and stress me out and stress them out? It's just not worth it. Okay, so now I would think it would get over into the faster lane because we're going way under our speed limit. Um, but I don't know. Autopilot's been, been kind of goofy lately. Okay, so now we are doing a change lane, but just to follow route and we're gonna stay behind this slow truck, unfortunately. I wish we could have waited a little bit. We obviously have time, it's over a mile, but oh well, that's what the car wants to do. Okay, and this is a really perfect lane change here. We quickly got past that slow truck and now we're getting over to take our exit. We're gonna do our first interchange here. This one shouldn't be too hard, uh, but we'll see. Hopefully the car can handle it. Okay, so we're slowing down for this ramp. All right, a little more complicated than I thought. Uh, we're gonna have to move over here pretty quick. And nobody seems to be in our way. Wow, really aggressive lane change by the car there. Okay, that was really good. It just turned on the turn signal and instantly was getting over, which normally we don't see unless you're initiating them yourself. And we're slowing down. I was gonna say we're going a little fast here, but not bad. And the car again is getting over to move over to east. Okay, very, very impressive. I didn't realize we had so many lanes to move over there. I thought we just got on that ramp and then we were done. Um, so very impressive there. The speed has changed to 50, now it's moving up to 55. You'll see as we get uh, where we're going, the speed will slowly creep back up to what I had it set at. So right now it's 55 and I don't want that, I want it to move up, but I'm not gonna intervene besides the left lane stuff where it's broken. Um, and this should be, okay, so now 60. And you know, it could of course be a little more aggressive, but at least we're not on the highway yet. Uh, and now we're on the highway and it's still it's just 60, okay, 73. And so hopefully it'll move back up to where I had it at 77. But we're not in anybody's way, we're in the right lane. So this is pretty good. I still would like it to go to 77. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for a bit. If it doesn't change back to my set speed, I'm gonna change it myself. Okay, that was a weird 
turn signal thing. I didn't even really see the message. Um, I think maybe we're supposed to get, yeah, okay, we're supposed to get over here. I just tried to do it uh, a little early while the solid line was still there. Uh, I did have to increase the speed myself. Uh, I've seen before when it changes to a new highway, it'll go back up to your set speed, but that time it went up to like my predetermined, which is three over the speed limit. Uh, so that was kind of weird that it didn't put my settings back, but not too big of a deal. And then it looks like we're supposed to take, okay, not this exit, a little bit of weird weirdness in the lane there. That was strange. Uh, okay, so we're taking this exit onto 475 here. Wow, this, okay. <laughs> These interchanges are a little more intense than I thought. I don't know why Saginaw is like covered up there. I hope that there's not like something closed with the highway that I didn't realize. Okay, we're going over the line. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Um, and it looks like it's clear. Okay, going a little fast, but actually no, this is perfect. I'm complaining for nothing. I want to go this fast. Uh, we're on to the next highway, so that was really good. Um, so what we're gonna do, handle that really well. It, it took those uh, curves a lot faster than I would have thought. Um, okay, do we have to, I don't like sitting in this guy's blind spot. I mean, he can see me because of his mirrors, but all right, so speed limit went back up and we're passing him, good. All right, I wanna get away from that. Um, and it's gonna wanna take an exit here soon which is this one. Um, I'm gonna turn that off and we're just gonna, let me reroute and then we'll be back. Okay, so I rerouted and it's just gonna take us off the highway here and we're just gonna get back on. We're gonna go to the opposite direction. So now that we're off the highway, let's see, it might get confused by these lines. Oh my gosh. Uh, it might stop for this red light. No, it's not going to, so I'll just get us back on the highway. I said it might stop for this red light because Sometimes when you get off of the highway, it'll stop for you at the red lights, or not at the red light, but at the end of the off-ramp, um, navigate on autopilot. Sometimes it will stop for you, which just coincidentally is at a red light or a stop sign. It does not yet stop for red lights or stop signs, but, but soon, soon. Okay, so here's the ramp we're getting back on and autopilot's on. So it will only let me go to 75 while I'm on the ramp. Uh, pretty early with its turn signal. Oh, probably because of that and nobody's around, so we're looking good. And the car does a great job getting on the highway, not accidentally exiting. So now we can increase back up to our 78 set speed. And the acceleration was a little slow. I would have liked to, I mean, especially with all the power we have, I would have liked to get up, you know, to our set speed faster so that if anyone was coming from behind, I didn't have to worry about that. Um, but for this, you know, specific entry, it worked out fine. Um, so I've rerouted us, we're getting, in <laughs> Man, I, with this update, getting in the left lane is so annoying. Uh, I mean, now, during normal driving, I just do it myself, so it doesn't matter. But while I'm trying to film these challenges and, and kind of show you guys autopilot's ability without me doing anything, it's pretty much impossible because I have to do stuff now. I have to. So I think I'm just going to turn this around uh, so we can do a few more of those interchanges. So we're going to turn around again. Um, we're getting a lot of exits and stuff, so that's cool. The car's getting over. No problems there. Ugh, somebody's car smells really gross. I can't even tell what that smell is. Something burning. Yuck. Okay, so again, another exit here that we've taken. You can see the car is slowing. There's nobody behind me. I'm gonna, actually, there's nobody around at all. So this is what I was talking about before. When you take an exit, sometimes the car will stop for you. Now, this is a really random spot to stop, um, but it says press accelerator to resume. So if I just tap the accelerator, now it will continue up to speed and it'll blow right through that light because autopilot does not respond to stop signs and stop lights. Um, and we can turn around in this creepy little thing. So now we're gonna go back through two exchanges through different highways and speed limit should not be 50. There's nobody, I mean, there's like nobody on this highway. So, um, but there we go. So we're up to 78 again. Acceleration's pretty good. Again, autopilot's doing all of this. It didn't change its speed limit. It just had that one set for whatever reason. I guess because it's the road we were coming off of. And confused with this huge lane here. Wow, that wasn't very good. Oh my gosh, bouncing off the lane, the lane lines there. Uh, not this one, but oh, right here, okay. Wow, the car's hitting the brakes. Wow, it knows that it's going, okay, that was really good. Really good exit there. I actually didn't even know 
exactly the exit it was supposed to take. Um, but it hit the brakes appropriately, and now it's going around this bend a tiny bit fast, but now, nope, now it's perfect and really good. So you can see Autopilot has lowered its speed to 50. I did not do that. The speed limit here, I guess, is 60. I assume it's probably actually 70, but I don't know. Well, nice little view of Flint there. That is the city of Flint you're looking at. And we're coming onto the highway here. So I don't, this really should be increasing the speed. Nobody's behind me. I'm gonna keep, the people are way back there and they're catching up. So that's not very good. I'm gonna increase the speed here. Uh, just because the car wasn't and I'm gonna hit the accelerator so we can get up to speed That was really weird. It should have uh, increased our speed a lot more than that for merging onto a highway. That's for sure So a few cars merging on here, but no big deal. Wow, there's just there's so much going on <laughs> um, So it wants to get over. Oh, and there's a truck. Okay That was a little rude, but It did it so oh well uh, The guy didn't really seem to mind. He just got in the left lane and he's gonna pass us Okay, so here comes our next exit. This should be our final interchange. We've got a big loop we got to go through. And wow, car handles that perfectly. Again, I wasn't sure if we should have been in that right lane, but I could see the nav here said two arrows, so I assumed it knew what it was doing. And we're going towards Detroit, that's correct. We're slowing down a good amount. I'm not sure why, uh, but that's all right. Really no reason for that. So ramp is a 25 mile per hour suggested speed. You don't have to go that slow, but I'm curious how the car will handle this. Uh, if it will go the suggested speed or maybe a slightly bit faster. So it's set its speed to 35, but we're going 31. So faster than the suggested, um, but still I think a little slower than I'd be going, but this is fine. This is actually really good, uh, really safe approach. You know, when the cars are doing the driving, um, like more than they do now. This is what you're gonna want. You know, maybe you yourself you'd be going 40 around this or something But uh, you're not gonna be you're not gonna want to be in a car that you're not in control of that's doing that So now like why are we going 35 miles an hour? <laughs> We're on the highway like what the hell? Um, so I stepped on the accelerator there. That is oh my gosh. What the frick are you doing? <laughs> totally, okay, you just failed you just totally failed the whole thing just for that. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was really bad. Um, again, no cars were around. I'm watching. You can see nobody's coming and passing me. I knew nobody was there. I'm, I'm watching the whole time. But like, it just swerved. I've never seen it. I've never seen it do that. I've never seen it swerve over a line like that. Um, I've seen it bounce off lines, you know, plenty. That was crazy. That was really weird. Um, that's not good. I'm not happy with that at all. And that was after I had to step on the accelerator because it was merging onto a highway so slow. Like, you just, you can't go that slow when you're merging onto the highway. So, that was kind of the point of this video. Uh, I'm giving it an F. I mean, I hate to say it, but like, that was really, really bad in, in the fact that, uh, number one, the mergings were not good. So when it was getting on and the speeds were so slow, that's really concerning. You can't, you just cannot get on a highway like that. And we know the car has the power, but when autopilot's on, it's pretty conservative. I think it doesn't want to like freak you out, right? You don't want autopilot like doing zero to 60 runs <laughs> with you in the car. Um, and so I think that's why, but that like swerving over a lane line, like I can only imagine if another car was there. Um, what it would have done. Now, I assume it wouldn't have run into anything, but there's no way to know. Uh, and obviously, if someone was there, I wouldn't have let that happen. So we would we would not know in that case. We would not have found out. So I'm giving it an F. Um, I hate to say it, but okay, we're going straight. Let's see. Okay, that was really good. I, I could see it easily getting confused with that. Um, but I'm giving it an F overall on the interchanges testing um, because, you know, we did, what did we do, four, four or five interchanges? and changing lanes into faster lane, yeah, so we're still not doing getting out of the passing lane. Um, and it just, I don't know, that did not inspire confidence. And you know, the other thing, I'm, I'm kind of done, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna do any more challenges until the left lane thing is fixed because my whole philosophy of, of doing these is that the car is supposed to be able to, like especially in this weather, it's very mild out, it's not that windy, there's really not that much traffic, 
Um, it's, it's clear, there's no fog or rain or anything. The car is supposed to be able to do all the highway stuff. It's supposed to be able to do exits, on ramps, interchanges. And if it can't simply get out of the passing lane, it's just not really possible. And that's why I do these, because I wanna let the car handle it. And I wanna like, I'm gonna impress everybody because I use autopilot every day, complaining about nothing. It was complaining about the lane opening up. Um, I wanna impress everybody with autopilot because it impresses me, you know, 90% of the time. But when it can't do that fundamental stuff, I can't let it, you know, impress anyone because I have to keep intervening with it. I have to keep, I have to keep like interfering and it's, it's not as fun, it's not as entertaining, and it's not as impressive. So I'm, I'm putting a pause on the challenges. This will be the last one uh, of the year. This will be the last one of 2019. And this will be the last one until that bug is fixed, which I, you know, I almost hate to say that because who knows if they'll even fix it now because it's a hardware 2.5 bug. If you have hardware three, this doesn't happen. And maybe they just will never fix it because starting in the next few weeks, they're gonna be aggressively upgrading people to hardware three. Um, so it may not be worth their time to fix it. Uh, I hate to say that, but um, we'll see. So let me know what you think of this one. You know, don't forget to um, vote up there, pick your grade for autopilot. Most of the time you guys are not as harsh as me, but I'm curious what you think of this. So um, I'm gonna leave this recording just you know, in case something happens, so I'll catch it. But um, I think that's it. I wanted to check out the interchanges and we've done that. So thanks for watching and uh, you will see me in the next video. All right, just really quick guys, I know this has been a long video, uh, but at the end of my videos, I always answer a question from the comments from you, and I've been getting this one a lot, so it's very important. Chris, what is the best way to tell if I have hardware version 2.5 or 3.0? The easiest, quickest way to know is if you can see cones on your display, traffic cones, then you have hardware three, that's it. If you got the newest update and you see cones, but you're not seeing anything else, you have to enable all the new visualizations, the stop signs and stuff in the settings. You have to go in the settings and turn it on. If you can see cones, you have hardware three. If you can't see cones, you have hardware 2.5. If you bought full self-driving, if you paid for it, you will get a free upgrade to hardware three. Tesla will contact you when your VIN is called and they will do that upgrade for you. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting into so much, but I think it's going to bring up more questions. It was said that mobile service can do this, but now I'm seeing that maybe they can't. Uh, so it's going back and forth. I don't know. We'll see if mobile service can do this. Hopefully they can. Uh, so we'll see. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy my new setup stuff here. This video has been long enough. Last thing, Grounded, my live stream where I answer your questions live, will be coming back soon. It's just with the holidays and everything. I haven't really had time. Um, but I'm going to try to do that soon. At the latest, it'll be mid-January it will be back. Uh, but I hope to do it in the next week or so. Thanks for watching.